Welcome to Northern Hill Farthing. I'm out here today sitting by our garlic and what started to grow, grow is the garlic scapes. Um, so this whole time, uh, this is the first time I've grown garlic and this whole time I've been thinking like maybe the like the leaves were the scapes and I just wasn't doing anything with them. I wasn't for sure. And then all of a sudden I saw these growing out of the middle. And I realized that these are what the scapes actually are. So that's what we're going to be doing today is harvesting these, these scapes. Um, what my plan is, is I actually want to cook these with some like carrots tonight. I found a recipe for that. So that's what I'm going to be doing for dinner tonight. And then also um, we're going to be harvesting some of them. So I already cut this one off. I just used a pair of scissors and I went down and I cut on the garlic as far as I could before it didn't damage any of the leaves here. Um, and I saw that you're supposed to do the ones that are already kind of windy and I've read them like they're kind of like bangle, like bangle bracelets. Um, and so that's what you want to do. And so you can see this and then you can see the flower part here. So what you do is you actually, you break that flower part off or cut it off. We're going to cut it off. So just cut this off. I don't think there's anything you can do with this part yet. Um, not for sure on that one though. I need to look into more of that. And then all of these here, this is all bendy. So this is all good part of the garlic, garlic scape. But when I get to about here, it's a little bit harder to bend. And I've read that that's more like, like the woody part of it. So then what I'm going to do is just take this and cut it right about here. So this woody part is the part that would be really good for something like a stew or making bone broth to still give it the like the garlic flavor. And then this is the part that I will chop up real fine. Okay, now that loud vehicle is gone, that will chop up real fine and I will put in like our cast iron with our carrots to cook it up to get the carrots a garlic flavor. The other thing that I'm going to do, and I don't know if I'm going to do it today or a different day, is I'm going to take these, cut them up, maybe about like one inch pieces or so, and go ahead and dehydrate them. Um, I saw that it takes about 24 hours on 135 degrees in my dehydrator. So what I'm going to do with that is dehydrate that and then I will put that in like my like my blender or like my Nutra bullet thing that I have. Um, and then that will turn into our garlic powder. Then that way we will also have garlic powder um, from this and then hopefully over the next year is really what my goal is, is we won't have to buy any garlic powder until next year when we grow more garlic. All right, so this is how much I harvested today. So what my plan is, is I'm gonna go in and the ones that I'm going to eat tonight for dinner, I'm gonna go ahead and do the prep just like I had shown you uh, before. And then the rest of these, I'm just gonna stick in the fridge. So what I've seen is that these can actually last in the fridge for quite a while. And what happens is just kind of like the tips start to like shrivel up a little bit, but you gotta take the tips off anyway when you dehydrate them. So what my thought is, is these needed to be harvested before they got any bigger. So the whole thing didn't get woody, just like the tips do. Um, but I have some more scapes that are growing, but they're still pretty little. So I want to give them another week or so to, to grow. So then what we're probably going to do is in about a week to cut off the rest of the scapes here and then prep it all and dehydrate it probably next weekend. Um, since it takes so long, I don't really want to run the dehydrator for 24 hours for just one or two trays worth of stuff. And I'd rather fill up my dehydrator a little bit more. Thanks so much for joining us today. Have a blessed day.